everyone, welcome back to Banksy Cove. I'm Taryn and today I'm going to be making my Figalicious soap. So this is in my larger tool and skinny mold. So I've got my oils already mixed and ready to go. In my bucket I have olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, sweet almond oil and castor oil. And in my two buckets here I already have my colors predispersed as well so my purple which is eminescence from my micro obsessions and my titanium di dioxide and in there I've also got some white sparkle diamond mica from Aussie soap supplies so I'm going to go ahead and get to mixing in my colloidal oats and oatmeal Okay, so into this bucket we want to add two tablespoons of colloidal oatmeal. And kaolin clay. Grab our stick blender. I'm going to go ahead and add in our lye. So I'm just going to pour that over the stick blender. gentle hand stir. Let's go ahead and blend it up. Now because I'm working in layers today I don't mind if it comes to a bit of a medium trace. I obviously don't want it to get too thick but a medium trace would be fine. I still obviously want it to be workable. I made a very light tray, so I'm just going to blend it a little bit more, remembering that I don't have any fragrance oil in here yet. So um, when I add that, it will likely thicken a little bit as well. I'm just going to go a bit more. I want to get it to at least a light trace before I split off my batch. Now a light trace is when you can ever so lightly swirl your spatula and see a bit of a trace on the top there. And we're just getting there now. Just a little bit more. Scrape this out. And the reason why I'm pouring it out of this big bucket into two jugs is just for easier pouring ability. Yesterday I made a soap 
and I was pouring out of the jug and it went down all the side of my silicone mold between the silicone and the wooden soap mold and getting that out this morning was a disaster. So I am doing this in an effort to avoid that in future. scraped out quite well. Let's move that out of the way and bring our two colours over. We'll bring our mould over as well now. Now in an attempt to prevent that from going down the sides of the silicone again, instead of using those clips that I've used in the past where I still had some gaps, I've now used sticky tape to stick the sides of my mould the silicon to the wood to prevent that from happening and if I do like go over a little bit it's just going to run down the tape as opposed to in between the silicone and the wood. I'm going to add in our fragrance oil so this is fig and cranberry from Aussie Soap Supply so we're just going to add half in there and half in there. Grab our stick blender again and out the bubbles. Let's blend this up. Alright, so I'm going to pour about half of this, which is to about there, into my mould. Bring you guys in a bit better. There we go. Okay, so I'm go down to about there. Check where we're up to. That's good. So what we want to do is just bang that down, get it as flat as possible. Now I'm going to try and not break through the white. If it happens, it happens, but I would prefer not to. So I'm just going to pour onto my spatula. It has gone nice and thick. I'm so glad I put that tape on because that just went everywhere. Let's try and pour up a bit higher. clean these sides down a bit that was just not really what I was going for obviously whoops now I'm flicking it everywhere <laughs> oh dear that's better okay 
fix you up. Smooth this out with the spatula a little bit. Tap it down. And now let's go with the white again. Lovely. Tap that down. Purple layer. Try and go a higher again to get it to funnel down. I might be popping it on soon instead. It's thick enough, I don't think it's going to really break through anyway. I do want to save a little bit of this for the top. So let's smooth this out. It's a little uneven, so I'm just going to try and push some of this butter down the other end. There we are, that's better. Okay, and... Tap down. Top layer of white. all of this out. Okay. Spread out this one. Okay. 
into the corner. There we are. Let's again tap this down. And lastly, we're going to do our top. Just put some purple on the top. Do some swirls through here. Just grab my spoon again. The sides don't want to stay up, so I'm just going to as well. It's fine. We will improvise. I think I prefer that anyway. And we'll just do. I think what I might do is just go and grab some mica, mica to sprinkle on the top, and then that will be it. I'll be right back. So let's just do some white silver mica on the top. If it wants to get going, which it doesn't. 
There we go. And then it always comes out in a big chunk. And then we've got some purple. And like always, I will now bring you guys down for a closer look. So that is it for my Figalicious. I will be back tomorrow to cut this one up. We'll have a look at how those layers turned out on the inside. So I'll see you guys back here then. Okay, so we are back to cut Figalicious and see how those layers turned out with how thick that batter got yesterday. So let's go ahead and cut this one and see what we've got. Okay, let's go ahead and slice through. So we clearly don't have distinct layers, um, but that's okay. We've got a little bit of glycerin rivers happening as well. I think that just adds to it, but it's definitely not the layers I was hoping for, but that's okay. It's still soap. And it still smells really good. So this will now go on the curing rack for the next four to six weeks. And then it will be popped up onto the website. Figalicious is already on there. It's um, I'll just take photos because the design of that one is a little bit different to this one. I'm just going to keep tweaking them. Sometimes you feel like doing something different or sometimes you just want to try something new. Change things up a little bit. Okay, so I am then going to bevel these with my vegetable peeler um, and then pop them on the curing rack. So thanks again for watching. If you like this, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them into the comments below. Thanks a lot. Bye.